Hey guys, this is Robert Vogel, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the grip, which I think next to trigger control is the single most important thing in shooting a handgun, especially at speed. First off, if you're not shooting at speed, if all you're trying to do is just hit a bullseye or shoot a good group, I actually don't think the grip matters that much. All that matters is that you actually have the sights aligned, and when you break the shot, you don't move the sights. When you start shooting at speed, we care about what happens after the shot. Okay, we, we want to get that second, third, fourth shot on target as fast as possible. Again, down to the hundredth of a second as fast as possible. So, it's really pretty simple. When you take this gun or any gun, okay, all else equal, when you shoot this thing, the less that it moves, the better you're going to shoot. Okay, from a standpoint of simple physics, the bullet obviously comes out of the barrel right here. So the closer you actually get to right here with your hands, with any part of tension or muscle on the gun, okay, the closer you get to here, the less the gun's going to move. By closer, I mean higher and also further forward on the grip. First thing that we're all taught with the grip is that you actually get nice and high and tight um, with, the, with the strong hand. Uh, we, the worst thing you can have is any kind of a gap right into here. Uh, how you get high here actually matters how you move your hand. Okay, most people are not trained. They're going to grab the gun just like a monkey grabs a hammer, like they pick up a bottle of water or a broomstick or anything. This is not what I'm doing. What I'm doing is a pinching motion with my hands. I'm driving, my fingers are going down, the web of my hand is being driven up, and I get tighter up in here. If I lock a slide back and I grab it more like a monkey, you can kind of see probably a quarter of an inch gap between the slide and my hand. But if I do this pinch grip, now I'm actually touching, or very close to touching the slide. Okay, when you hold the gun, might not make much of a difference when I'm shooting this thing six times in a single second, about a 20 split or faster, and I'm trying to get it to come back to the same spot, that's when it makes a big difference. So, that tension right there, a lot of nice high and tight there, a lot of pressure there, that's right where the recoil comes. A byproduct of that is the fact that when I, when I do this pinch grip, it brings this thumb up and out of the way and gives more clearance for the support hand. The support hand is really what most people do wrong or could really improve on. And the biggest thing is getting this high on the gun, okay? So many people have what I would call a straight wrist, which th this is a straight wrist, and they need to cam or cant their wrist forward. Trying to keep it somewhat simple, a, a telltale thing, any semi-automatic pistol, you have a slide stop pretty much right here in the same spot. You get your grip, okay? Don't move your hand, your hands. Bring your arms back and look and see where your hand is at in relation to the slide stop. You can see that I'm all the way up to that grip. I'm pretty much touching it. That's about where you want to be. If you, if you do this and you are half an inch below the slide stop like that, or maybe even a whole inch below that, uh, it's just a sign you're probably not controlling the gun very well. So to do that, I have to really cam or camp my wrist f forward. So nice and hard up against the trigger guard. I slide all the way out to the end on that Glock, and I'm nice and high on the gun. Not only am I squeezing pretty hard with both hands, I'm actually torquing inward a little bit with both hands. That is a big key thing to shooting fast and accurately. Most people, if you put a slow motion camera on them and have them shoot really fast, what I see is I see the gun shifting a little bit like this in their hands. Okay, By not only squeezing with your hands, but torquing inward, I'm, I'm creating a lot of pressure and friction basically right here on the hand on on the gun okay so i'm torquing in with this hand and of course i have to counter it with my other hand and you can tell if somebody's doing that because their elbows tend to point more out and their forearms will raise up so if they're not doing it they tend to look more like this if they are doing it it tends to look more like this puts a lot more pressure on the gun so when i shoot this gun really fast Okay, it's moving, of course, some, but my hands are moving with the gun. Okay, the gun is not shifting my hands at all, and that is a major thing you need to be fast and accurate. And of course, it helps to have a little bit stronger hands. Squeezing the gun pretty hard in the first place. I, I tell people to squeeze it about as hard as they can without shaking, without getting a tremble. And it really should be a little bit harder with the support hand than the strong hand. Strong hand you have to be able to do this, right? This is a little bit more of a fine motor skill, so when you squeeze beyond a certain point, you start to lose your agility right there in your finger, but support hand is really all gross motor skill, or at least more gross motor skill, so you should be squeezing harder with that. 
whether it's 60 40 or 70 30 it's probably somewhere in there that's anybody's guess so bottom line the grip is one of the most crucial elements of shooting a pistol fast and accurately and you should not ignore it